FISA application to surveil a Trump campaign associate named Carter Page, and as part of that application, FBI Director Comey and Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates signed a verified uh, application that included the now infamous, unverified, uncorroborated uh, Steele dossier, which specifically states that there was a, quote, well-developed conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. Ms. Cordero, did the special counsel find that there was a well-developed conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russian government? So the special counsel analyzed conspiracy under criminal conspiracy law. And so under criminal conspiracy law, the special counsel did not find that there was a tacit or implicit Thank agreement you. between the I campaign. I appreciate that. So no conspiracy. So uh, Professor Hassan, uh, I actually agree with you when you talk about the, the goal of the Russians to sow discord uh, into the American uh, Democratic Republic. Um, and despite the fact that special counsel Mueller found that neither Donald Trump or anyone associated with this campaign conspired or colluded uh, or was successful in any way in meddling in the 2016 presidential election, it's hard to argue that Russia wasn't successful in that ultimate goal of sowing the seeds of discord. Because our country just endured a two-year investigation to determine whether or not the President of the United States was part of a treasonous conspiracy with a foreign adversary to steal an election. An investigation that was started by the Obama administration, who started an investigation into a conspiracy that the special counsel has now conclusively and unequivocally established never existed. So since the purpose of this hearing is to talk about the lessons learned from the Mueller report, let's talk about those lessons and the factors that contributed to Russia's success. Uh, one of the factors that contributed to Russia's success was the Obama administration uh, opening a probe into the Trump campaign using foreign counterintelligence spying powers to investigate a conspiracy that, again, the special counsel conclusively determined did not exist. Another factor that contributed to Russia's success was the Obama administration's intelligence community assessment, which was used to tell the American people that not only did Russia interfere in the election, but did so because Vladimir Putin was trying to get Donald Trump elected. Another factor was the one I just mentioned, the Obama administration's use of FISA warrants obtained through verified applications based on the unverified Steele dossier which the Obama DOJ and FBI knew to be an uncorroborated Clinton campaign opposition research document. That might have contributed to Russia's success. And of course, we have the Obama administration officials, some now under investigation for leaking information, perhaps classified information, falsely depicting a Trump-Russia collusion conspiracy that never existed. So I love talking about the Mueller report. I'm just wondering when my colleagues on the other start side of the aisle are gonna start asking questions about why Bob Mueller spent $40 million and had 60 people working around the clock for two years asking questions about President Trump and a conspiracy that never existed instead of spending some of that time asking about President Obama and how all of this got started. I'm done. Gentlemen's time has expired. The witness may answer the question. What was the question? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take a pass. Thank you. The gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Jackson, uh, Mr. Johnson, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank the witnesses for appearing here today. And uh, Professor uh, Prakash, you are the James Monroe Distinguished Professor of Law at the University of Georgia. Uh, 